coming to you from our GIS studios. I am Anisia Antoine and this is your Midday News Brief. Invest St. Lucia announces major plans for 2019, including an angel investor fund. The angel investor fund, as well as the incubator and accelerator programs, are just the start of many initiatives that Invest St. Lucia will be developing in collaboration with other agencies such as the Small Business Development Center and Export St. Lucia, in an effort to assist young budding entrepreneurs to realize their business potential. Invest St. Lucia's main ongoing project, Pearl of the Caribbean, is on track, employing approximately 100 St. Lucians. Monroe College and the National Apprenticeship Program have collaborated to offer hospitality training to 150 young persons from the south of the island. This will be the second batch of unemployed youth to receive training. The first batch of trainees graduated on Thursday, January 24th with the skills training in the areas of events management, front desk operations, housekeeping, bartending, as well as food and beverage. Each applicant to the program receives a stipend of $500 per month from the government of St. Lucia. Local engineering consulting company FDL Consult Inc. was awarded the contract for the Millennium Highway and West Coast Road upgrading project. According to the Prime Minister Alan Chastney, the upgrading of this road will spur greater economic activity on the west coast of the island. The government of St. Lucia is currently advancing an initiative that will allow businesses to use non-traditional forms of collateral to secure financing. With this new venture, businesses will be able to use their movable assets such as inventory, equipment, accounts receivable, vehicles or anything that is of value to the business as security for the loan. The National Competitiveness and Productivity Council, a member of the Doing Business Task Force, is coordinating the legislative framework that will facilitate this. This has been your Midday News Brief. Join us tonight at 7.30 on NTN for Nation Beat, where we bring you today's top stories. Thank you for watching.